The RMS Titanic was the biggest ship of the early 1900s and it was the most famous at that time. It still is famous today. On the 15th of April, 1912 she had struck an iceberg, started to sink, and split in half on her first voyage from Southampton to New York. Her wreck was not found until early September of 1985 by Robert Ballard who was not expecting to see it since he had searched for years. But people have always thought why not bring the lady up to the surface. Here are some reasons why we cannot raise the RMS Titanic. Number 1. The amount of deaths. During the sinking, there were 24 lifeboats on the ship when there could be at least 60. Each boat could only hold 65 people. Was was not okay was that the officers wouldn't let most of the men on. Officer Lightoller had said women and children only and only put 30 to 45 people in the boats. If 65 were in all of them, there would have been 1,500 survivors. But instead there were 1,500 deaths and 705 survivors. It is not respectful to touch the ship because it is now a grave. Number 2. The depth and weight. The Titanic wreckage was found 375 miles off the coast of Canada and a depth of 12,500 feet. This would mean that there are very hard pressures which can cause the ship to collapse while coming up. Also. The Titanic had a weight of 300,000 pounds and today would be 150,000. Number 3. Split in two. At 2.17 a.m. on the 15th of April, 1912 the Titanic broke into two pieces just past the third funnel. After the stern went under, it had implosion and caused it to look like this. The bow and stern section are around 610 meters apart. The stern is also facing the opposite direction of the bow because when it imploded it spun around. Once the bow hit the bottom, it bent its front and broke its back. 